everyone turn to the book of second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 12 let us all read oh our god will you not judge them for we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us nor do we know what to do but our eyes are upon you the king of judah jehoshaphat three or four enemies they came against him big battle fear came unto him and he said who oh god we do not know what to do he was in a critical situation even though he was king he was a good man he was a good man among kings he did so many good things but he was surrounded by so many armies in this situation he said we do not know what to do jehoshaphat had he had done so many good things but in this situation he did not know what to do let's all sit please be seated he had so many enemies three to four enemies the battles so many armies against him he had done so many good things he he was the king of juda he had all wisdom he had all opportunities good army and everything good family good uh, palace and everything but still this situation he was not able to do anything everything found around him very dark he couldn't think he could not know you know about kings they will find out a way but this situation he could not find out a way to escape to come out of that situation and uh, he was his heart was fainting inside his heart was failing inside and he thinks that his boat is sinking this situation was so dangerous and the situation left him alone without any ideas complicated situation in our lives we have such situations we would have done so many good things we have achieved so many good things we have so much wisdom and knowledge which the lord has given to us we have the bible in our hand we have the church to support us and we have pastors and we have all the privileges family which allows us so we have every uh positive things in our life but in this situation some of us or many of us or all of us in this situation in a in in a particular situation you don't know what to do you are confused everything seems drowned everything seems dark your heart fainteth because even david said my heart fainteth in in inside me within me in another words my heart fails i am unable to think i am unable to do something in this situation i am unable to do anything regarding this problem you may be having such dark complicated 
sinking situation you have jesus you know about jesus you have the bible in your hand you have a church you have everything but still in certain situations you don't know what to do this kind of situations comes many times it affects our mind it affects our emotions it affects our even our body it affects our thinking especially our emotions our emotions are real if you if you feel bad inside no one can uh stop that or no one can quarrel with you because emotions that you 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 will feel or you 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 cannot avoid that one emotions are real but it is not permanent emotions are temporary your em emotions would, would be stared you cannot control your emotions you may cry or you may get angry or you may not you may not be able to think or study or go and do anything even though you have so much love inside you you will not be able to show it to someone you will not be able to laugh smile you are in such a situation that your mind is sinking maybe you may be you may be in depression depression when our emotions we are unable to control or our emotions blocks our heart fails we feel that our ship is wrecked or we are in darkness everyone in few situations their emotions are struck somewhere or it uh, it uh, it is in chaos it it is in trouble you are unable to control your emotions that's what you are unable to handle your situation you are not you are not able to handle the people around you you are not able to handle your family children you are not able to handle your spouse you are not able to handle things or people because your emotions is struggling are overflowing you are unable to control your emotions i said the emotions are real it, it it comes to anyone it it can be shown by anyone but it is not permanent you must believe that if you are angry that anger is not permanent if you are so sad the sadness is not permanent if you feel darkness inside that is not also permanent it can go at any time there is no particular or specific treatment for that thing for your depression you don't know what to do sometimes when we select the wrong things or we are in a perplexed condition in selecting selection problem brings 
it stirs our emotions marriage problems it's often we see among husbands and wife many husbands are not happy many wives are not happy i'm you you compare not yourself or compare with the world worldly wives and worldly have no one is happy they act they celebrate that they are they, they think they they want to show themselves as happy but they are really not happy many wives mentally they are affected because of husbands their rudeness of husbands many husbands are affected by because of the failure of their marriage life it is really not failure but they think that is failure because they they compare with someone so they are not happy about that this makes them get angry and their emotions are are not in control when the time of pregnancy the 10 months you know so many times women their emotions are affected husband should be very careful and deal politely with wives respect and honor their wives but this emotion will not allow you it disturbs it will not allow you to pray it will it will not allow you to read god's word you you don't have any hope sometimes separation from your loved ones when you send your son or daughter to the college to the hostel they will not be able to set their mind into education they will not find a friend they will not be able to find a friend they will be struggling they will try to return home they don't want to stay in the college they want don't they don't want to study they are complicated they are troubled they don't know what to do now parents don't know what to do many parents their emotions are are troubled because of the children they parents accept expect their expectations gone because of the children we ex parents expect their son to be highly educated graduated but the children they don't study they return parents uh, they go into trouble parents think of their future future of their children so all this brings complication in their mind they are unable to think and they say my life is delayed many people say oh god my life is delayed oh pastor my life itself is delayed everything is delayed in my life i am unable to reach our things are not coming everything in my life is delayed so many people they went forward but i am delayed that's what it hurts the emotions and they go into depression you cannot you should not stay in depression some more other you have to come out that's what i said emotions are real but it is not permanent how do you feel you maybe you feel very bad but it is just temporary any time it can change you can become happy so wait for god 
if you allow if you stay in depression then the oppressor will oppress you oppressor they will he will oppress you mental torture he will torture your body and you will get sick and you will not be able to sleep so it you will be oppressed by the oppressor still if you don't come out of that kind of situation then you will be possessed depression take care of depression immediately or you will be oppressed by the devil if you allow that you will be possessed the devil will come and live with you will take care, take hold of your life but i thank god our lord jesus christ he will not allow all these things he is in charge even the devil is working in your life he is fighting the battles against you still all this battles of the devil is under the plan the major plan the master plan of our lord jesus christ our lord jesus christ has a master plan for your life these battles are under the master plan so he will take care your failures are not permanent your damages are not permanent wait for him you have many dreams in your life anyone anybody will have some dreams some wishes they want to achieve something but seems all your dreams are dark it is in darkness you are unable to find out the solutions your dreams are stuck struck somewhere that spoils that affects your emotions some may say my oh pastor my fa- finance is blocked everything depends on that finance but it is blocked some may say like jacob said 10 times my my wages are changed how many times it will change i don't have a permanent wages i am i am unable to establish myself my family my wages are changing jacob said in genesis 31 41 he said 10 times his his wages was changed so it makes his mind blind jacob could not do anything sometimes you may be thinking that everything happens it happens against me it doesn't help me anything happens in my life is against me it's against my desires against my dreams anything happens it happens against me i don't think the lord is in favor of me i think even god is against me jacob son of isaac he had such situation he said you have taken my joseph is missing now you take benjamin everything happens against me jacob he was so worried everything was against you may be also thinking that everything is happening against you not in favor of you it is not in favor of all your expectations or dreams
many people they think they 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 will feel that they cannot even concentrate on god they cannot pray because they feel their spirit is crushed inside they don't have sound spirit they don't have a spirit to pray how much we need jesus how much we need the holy ghost in so many situations we will know that our spirit are crashed inside the de the devil comes to destroy to kill to steal to crash to sink to make you sink but sometimes you must know that this kind of things is not only from the devil sometimes it may be a biological problem also maybe you have to check with a doctor maybe your mind your body your energy low energy you may be feeling low energy in your body very weak you cannot study you cannot do things you get angry or you cry or you dash your head somewhere so people of god many things happens like this our spirit doesn't make us feel good our spirit doesn't cooperate with us to pray our spirit is so weak and even our body is very weak sometimes we may be thinking about our progress in our life and we feel that we are pushed behind and someone goes forward the man said like that he was 38 years pushed back in the lake in the in the small pool of bethesda he was sitting for 38 years and when jesus went there and asked why and he said before i go someone goes ahead of me so he was dismayed he was he, he lost his faith so he was simply sitting no i cannot go i cannot go i cannot go i cannot be healed i cannot do this i cannot overcome he was sitting for 38 years there you may be sitting for 3 years or 4 years or 6 months or 12 years you brothers and sisters the lord wants you perfectly but you are you and me we are very very much perplexed and we are crushed in our spirit even though the lord will not distinguish our light he makes our light to burn once again we cannot see our god sometimes we cannot feel his presence many times you would have you would have felt the presence of the world too much you could not feel the the sweet presence of jesus everything inside you are blocked you may be saying someone goes ahead of me everyone goes ahead of me but i am pushed back behind many many you you could feel that so many towers of babel is inside you because unfinished building unfinished tower babel there are so many unfinished things in your life take a paper and list all the unfinished things 
you will have a big list. I started, I could not finish. I started, I could not finish. They started to build the Tower of Babel, they could not finish it. Language confusion. For you, emotional confusion. Everyone you, in your house, they are playing a different part. There's no oneness in your house. Among your family members, there are different things. You are unable to bring everything together, even though you are the head of the family. You don't know what to do. David said, from my youth, I am afflicted. From my youth, I am afflicted. When you were a young, from there, from your youth, continuously, you were afflicted, afflicted, you were beaten, you were struggling. Now you are above 40. Now you need a great change, you need a great breakthrough in your life, you need a revival inside you, you need a crossing of the Holy Ghost inside your emotions. Jeremiah the prophet said like this, I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. He has led me and made me walk in darkness and not in light. He said, surely he has turned his hand against me time to time again throughout the day. He has turned his hand against me. All these things, these words, Jeremiah, even though he was a great big prophet, he said, the hand of God is against me. I am a man beaten by the rod of God. He said, I am afflicted. He said that I am, the Lord has turned his hand against me. And he says, he has aged my flesh and my skin and broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness. So this is kind of sick in his mind, sick in his emotions. But having all these kind of thinking, but it, it was not permanent for Jeremiah. The Lord had great big master plan for him and used him very powerfully as an iron pillar for the nations. And a great big prophet to the nations. But, but in situations, he said, God, his hand is against me. You may be also thinking in the same way as Jeremiah thought. But there is a Remedy, there is a deliverance in the name of Jesus. Some people say, my mood is imbalanced. I'm, sometimes I fall in the fire, sometimes I fall in the water. A young man was brought to Jesus and his father said, this young man falls. Sometimes in fire, sometimes in water, He's, he is not... He don't know when he will fall in water, when he will fall in the fire. His mood swings. His mood has no balance. Sometimes I'm a good person, but sometimes I'm a not good person. Sometimes I love my wife, but many times I don't love my wife. Sometimes I honor my husband, I love him, but many times I don't feel it. Children may say, 
parents they are they are doing their duty i am doing my duty no love among parents and among my uh, among me and my parents routine jobs are happening you may think all these things so you may go into such kind of emotional trauma problem but these are not permanent wait for god all together many people may say my foundations are shaking even in the bible we see such words my foundations are shaking i believe that thing but it is shaking my foundation itself is shaking and my rock doesn't give any water i'm speaking to the rock it doesn't give any water i'm beating the rock it doesn't give me water moses he when he beat uh, the rock it oh, gave water he spoke the lord said to speak but i do all these things but i don't receive the water my rocks are empty no signs of any changes i fear that this thing will be in this way in this manner i don't see any changes no signs of change i prayed for that person i prayed for my husband i see no change in him i prayed for my son i fasted for my son but i see no changes it damages my emotions my mind i feel worthless hopeless helpless i'm not useful to anyone i think that i am worthless i think anyone will not honor me respect me i think my pastor will not also respect me because i am worthless useless and hopeless even my pastor will not accept me he loved me so much but he will not love me anymore because i am worthless i have lost the love of my husband i have lost love of the pastor i have lost the love of my wife i have lost the love of my children what can i do everything is against me if i find out the reason i can repair or i can make changes but i am unable to find the reason why this happens the lord will not reveal it to me reasons are hidden foundations are shaking my ship is sinking i am struggling i don't know what to do i want god to appear i want to see his face and a little bit get comforted but my god he hides himself oh god you are a god who hides himself isaiah 45 15 god hides himself then where i can go where i can run now let us all return to the life of jehoshaphat so many armies against him he won so many bad battles in the past he did so many good things but now he did not know what to do but there is only one thing can be done according to this scripture only one thing can be done jehoshabat can do only one thing you and me can do only one thing what is it he said we do not know what to do but our eyes are upon you hallelujah hallelujah that's what this day is meant for 
that's what communion is meant for we fix our eyes on god we fix our eyes on jesus who went to the cross he gave his himself on the cross so fix your eyes there we lift our eyes towards jesus who crucified many times i have done this i had such situations many times i will not be feeling to come on stage i had uh done so many good things in the ministry so many i had preached thousands of sermons prayed for thousands of people many people are healed so many miracles happen but some many times my emotions will would, would be affected if i have to, i don't feel coming on stage i don't feel singing i don't feel preaching but still i i cannot uh, uh i cannot lean on my emotions but i must lean on my duty hello emotions are duty emotions are temporary but duties are permanent so i come on stage that is my permanent work to do i don't feel preaching but i will preach i don't feel singing but i praise and worship the lord i don't feel praying but i start praying when i start worshiping i start praying i can only start if you start the lord is waiting for you to start if you start the lord will help you go forward i start preaching i started preaching i i didn't want to preach because i i, I in that situation i did not believe any believer in the church i felt that no one will obey no one will obey god i felt no one loves god they loves only themselves they want their situation to be good they don't want god so why should i go on stage and preach for such people so uh, sometimes our impostors emotions are stirred up because of the people so he is confused likewise many times i felt in my because everybody they find fault they everybody accuses they will not accuse any government authority they accuse the past it is easy for them put all the stones upon the past like people they picked up stones to stone moses when they were hungry all depended on their own situation they did not think about moses they had no food immediately they take stones whenever people took stones moses went and fell in the in the presence of god that's also good whenever you people take stones we go and fall in the feet of god otherwise sometimes we will not also fall in the feet of god where you must take stones so many believers that took stones against me but I, it made me to go and fall in the feet of jesus christ and look at the cross look at the crucifixion look at the blood of jesus look at his wounds and when i simply stay there under the blood there is a chorus called i stay there under the blood i stay there under the blood i stay there under the blood that they will can do me no harm so i stay there i look into the cross look into the crucifixion my emotions are temporary it is not permanent but calvary is permanent the crucifixion 
the jesus what jesus did on the cross is permanent not only permanent it is eternal so my eyes are fixed there either do i cannot see anything everything is dark my boat is sinking my rocks doesn't give water my family doesn't cooperate my wages are being changed someone goes ahead of me i cannot think oh my heart faileth i am afflicted i my heart fails but still my eyes looks to jesus you know immediately the lord sent a prophet to jehoshabat the prophet came and strengthened them they went to the battle they won the battle came with great victory hallelujah i am a, like a prophet standing here and saying that you will come out of that situation your situation is not permanent you will come out you will naturally come out sometimes supernaturally the lord will bring you out wait for god fix your eyes on the crucifixion not only on communion sunday every time every day you go into such dark situation your eyes should only see jesus christ hallelujah you must your eyes should be like this upon him fix your eyes on him and him only sometimes you will tears will flow in your eyes sometimes you will not have tears already everything gone dry dry dried up still your eyes will be looking on him what he will do he will come down he will send a prophet or he will send a word for you one word enough you must still wait word of god is permanent is eternal so he will send a word for you so this morning the lord is sending you a word don't give up don't stop don't get angry or don't get don't fall into depression you wait for god and still fix your eyes on jesus and look into him look in the face of jesus christ then you will be i don't know how we are been being strengthened or how the lord brings out from that kind of dark situation i cannot calculate i don't know how it, he brings it out but he brings out when you think about the cross that is the power of the crucifixion hallelujah that is great power brother many millions of saints they looked on the cross and they came out of depression they came out of troubles even our body will be strengthened only cross bible says look unto the look unto me and you will live you look unto me you will live hallelujah not only this sunday every day every day every time you will have no one to pray with you but still look into the into his face he is watching you he has a master plan everything these things are happening in your life under the master plan of god so there is deliverance there is peace there is joy let us all stand for prayer heavenly father i pray for each and every brothers and sisters and every families every young people every husbands every wives and i pray for the pastors and i pray for all the leaders in the church who ever going under such kind of situation like the situation of king jehoshabat lord today we fix our eyes on you lord we will not take our eyes from you we don't fix our eyes on this world 
we don't fix our eyes on our emotional trauma we don't fix our eyes on all kind of troubles all people we fix our eyes on the you have done such a great thing on the cross at the cross at the cross where my sins and burdens and confusions have gone away jesus there is no more confusions i am clear that you have you have won the battle i am unable to win but you have won the battle that is the master plan but my today's failure doesn't stop the tomorrow's victory master hold our hands lord hold hands of god in jesus name we pray everyone lift up your hands and ask god to hold your hand in darkness in many places ask god to hold your hand you better ask him amen amen